welcome to edukemi myself karuna mishra and i'm very excited for this video because today we'll be doing a trend analysis on the type of questions that we have been asked in the prelims of 2021 from science and technology now science and technology has always been uh, you know this low hanging fruit or a you know scorer subject when it comes to upsc prelims but this year the ball game has completely changed if you notice from last two years upsc was inching towards the core area that is reading your ncrt reading your physics and chemistry but there used to be one question two question or applied for example why laser has a red color or what is the uh, you know logic behind let's say visible light what is the spectrum something like that there used to be a question or two this year you find six to seven questions which are based on this applied basic science which you generally see in your ncrt books wo jo chote chote dibbe hote hain ncrt books mein same saath mein there you find these kind of analysis so first of all what is my take of understanding from the prelims and when uh, you know going and uh, you know preparing for the prelims of 2022 is you have to read your basic books you have to have a rational thought you have to have a certain mental alertness in order to attempt these questions now coming to the tricky questions which students are facing i have picked two questions since it is science so there is no you know ambiguity whether it will be a right question or not but students did have certain confusion because of uh, certain things or certain uh, you know changes which were during the covid period and one question one question is whether viruses there were three options bacteria fungi virus and which of these can be cultured in a artificial synthetic medium the second one was the pressure cooker and what are the elements which are required for uh, keeping in mind what kind of temperature is required for the food to be cooked so i'll be taking both these questions now before coming to these question uh, what to do when you see these tricky questions i would say is apply your brain you have been reading since childhood uh, this is the question which talks about bacteria fungi virus now since childhood you have been reading that bacteria is being used in the industrial uh, in the agricultural and in the medical fields uh, and it is cultured in the artificial synthetic medium out of this bacteria and fungi can easily be cultured and it is given in your ncrt books also and we also know that viruses need a living host in order to survive and grow now where did the question uh, you know the whole discrepancy came when students thought then how rt pcr works because we are taking the swabs which has virus in it which is covid virus and how it is actually being working if the viruses cannot culture in the artificial medium because then it is stored in that you know those bottles but you have to understand it is not culturing but it is replication of that virus which takes place so it is called reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction uh pcr it works on the uh, pcr model which is polymerase chain reaction if you remember initially it used to be pcr test which was then uh, changed to rt pcr which is reverse transcription so what is happening here this is the rna strand i'll just remove myself from the screen so that you can see this is the rna strand now this rna strand uh, this is you know your uh, Uh, you uh, name your rna based on at you see you remember all that we are, we are not going to go there so this is the rna stand now here this is the dntps or these are the uh, you know let's say virus containing uh, fractions now cd rna is the rna hybrid formulation it will then attach itself and then this dna uh, through the pcr mechanism this dna will replicate themselves so the part of that material rna material part of that rna material is extracted and then multiplied to see the cvrt therefore you get a ct score right do not get confused with whether viruses now can be cultured in the rt no viruses cannot be cultured so 
just take care of these things this is this uh, question could was not very tough if you had gone back to the basics another such question was about the pressure cooker but the question comes how to prepare for such questions you cannot just prepare for such questions you have to be mentally alert science itself is a uh, subject of intriguing so you have to be mentally alert you have to keep your mind sharp then only you can prepare such questions now another such question which was there was in a pressure cooker the temperature at which the food is cooked depends mainly upon which of the following is it the area of the hole in the lid is it the temperature of the flame or is it the weight of the lid right so a lot of students found it very difficult to digest when we said that it is the area of the hole and the weight of the lid which are responsible for what for determining the temperature at which the food is cooked and it is not the temperature of the flame which is the determining factor and we gave 1 and 3 as the answer now without even telling whether it is right or wrong i simply want to give you a case study so that you can get an idea why we came so why does it take more time to cook in the higher altitudes first because the air pressure is low the boiling point of the water is low as they are directly related so the air pressure is directly related to the boiling point i think this is very basic and we know them simply put the temperature at which the food cooks is the same as the temperature at which the water reaches boiling point and converts into steam so it is not that you know the flame will be higher so the boiling point will be higher no it might reach that boiling point faster but it will not determine the temperature at which the cooking will start right so the pressure cooker also works by increasing the pressure inside increasing the boiling point of the water therefore the pressure inside the cooker is decided by the weight of the lid because it is trying to create a pressure and the area of the hole and the temperature of the flame decides how fast the pressure is reached but not the quantity of the pressure not the quantity so this is why this answer is correct that this cannot be the determining factor so this is my attempt to simply to simply teach you or simply put that when you are attempting science and technology questions and the questions are based on the logic put the logic get into the real life situation imagine that you are doing that thing and then similar question was on sodium lamps you all have seen those yellow sodium lamps and you have seen the led lamps also you simply have to compare their working and then you could have easily reached the answer i hope it helped you and also gave you an insight how to prepare for your prelims in the year 2022 we'll be coming up with more such videos till then take care again uh, for science and technology my say would be read your ncrts read all the ncrts and not just biology take care of the current but as you can see directly not the current is been asked so rather than mugging up each detail you should understand the concept upsc is again moving towards the conceptual understanding so what is the catch in the paper it would be make your concepts strong and not the factual knowledge you might need factual knowledge but it is the concept which has been asked be it in the vaccine uh, question we um, be it even in the uh, i think except for ball guard uh, and uh, the pba you are not getting questions which are directly they are more concept based so i hope it helps thank you so much uh, prepare well and stay tuned to educame for getting such more videos and more insights into the this exam